So here is your STEM challenge for this week. It is to build a toothpick tower. So can you make a tall tower using toothpicks and Play-Doh? Measure your tower. Is there any way you could make it taller? So boys and girls, here I have my cocktail sticks and I have my Play-Doh. Now, if you don't have a little tub of Play-Doh like this, you can always make Play-Doh using the ingredients that I have posted onto our Teams page, okay? Now, you have to try and build a tower as big as you possibly can and then measure it. Then afterwards, have a little think. Could you have made it any bigger? How could you have made it any bigger? Could it have been taller, wider? Totally up to you. Now, I've made a little base for my tower by using little tiny bits of Play-Doh and four cocktail sticks. Now, my plan is to try and make mine as tall as I can. I did find it helps if you squish the Play-Doh into the little cocktail sticks to make them a bit steadier. Now it gets to the hard bit though, trying to put some more sticks and Play-Doh on top. So this is where we have got to. I'm going to try and make it a little bit taller. I've had to stick some cocktail sticks in between to make a bit of a square to join all of the bits together. You might choose a completely different design. So let's see how big I can get mine to be. Now that was as tall as I could make it. So here I have tried a different design. This is all about problem solving and trying different things. It's okay if it doesn't work, just like mine did. I could only get the last one two stories high, but trying this design, I've got it three stories high. Now, what I want to see is videos and pictures of you trying to make your tower as tall as you possibly can. Try it different ways, different materials. You can use, remember, normal Play-Doh or you can make your own Play-Doh. I would love to see you having a go at this and I can't wait to see all of your finished towers.